Hey Jitterbug, you don't already know me, my name's Rachel. This channel is all about embracing your natural beauty. It's makeup to make you feel like you. The jitter of the day is a cold brew with, um, I have almond, almond roca, and oat milk. A lot of different flavors. As always, we start drinking our jitter with a little dance. The flower of the day is lavender. Isn't that such a pretty color? Fun flower fact is that is the flower of Gemini, Gemini season, which is what this video is all about. So today we are doing a Gemini season makeup tutorial. Even this coffee had all these different flavors. Really feeling the season, guys. And so, the Gemini side of the twins, so double. We're gonna do a day to night makeup look today. Do a day look and then spruce it up for night so you can have the two sides of that. So keep on watching. So we're gonna start here with this Urban Decay face primer. So we're gonna do a really simple daytime look, but also something that's cute. And interesting, as Gemini's, we're easily bored. God, I keep sneezing, like what? My hair is such a hot mess, I can't even talk about it. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to dry, see my nose is all red because I put my nose, I can't stop sneezing. I'm like coming off of a sinus infection, so like it's all like draining from the antibiotics. Yeah, it's pretty gross. So we're gonna take this a, um, Benefit Gimme Brow and run it through the brows. That's all we're gonna do, as in the shade 3.5, that's all we're gonna do for brows today. My brows are microbladed. Um, see, this is a little uneven because I try to pluck them myself. Usually I get them threaded, but I'm trying to save money. Um, I might have to go in though because clearly I didn't do a good enough job. This will work regardless if you have it or not because it does a pretty good job of like filling in and fluffing the brows. But if you want to, you can also add like a pencil. So I'm gonna take my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder, just for a change here. Use that to set the T-zone, as we do for oily skin. Then I'm gonna take my um, Maracuja Tinted Hydrator from Tarte, if they still make it anymore. I'm sure they make something similar in the shade Light Medium Neutral. I'm usually Light Medium Sand, but I don't, I think the shade range is shorter with tinted moisturizers and stuff. So we're gonna blend that in, so it's still looking natural, like an everyday look. To go to work, it's supposed to be pretty fast. What's your work time makeup routine? Let me know in the comments. I know to go to work, I usually do make it for two minutes at home brush, because I'm already running late, because I'm special, and then do the rest in the car. I need to get back to life. Because I have my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NW20, and I'm going to I'm gonna take a flat brush, and I'm gonna do my dark circles. So I'm gonna start in the outer corner, go down. It's like really lightly because this stuff's really pigmented and we don't want it to be like an overkill. And just blend outward this way. Covering dark circles is tricky for me. I'm not that good at it. I need to get better. But it's good to start where most of the darkness is and then just kind of like blend your way out. As you can see, there's already a big difference. Just go and do that. And I'm using this concealer so it lasts all day because I'm trying to do stuff that lasts all day for the day look so we can just like go to night really easily without having to touch up makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape translucent powder and set everything. I was looking for um, the banana powder that I have from Essence and I wanted to use in my eyes and I can't find it. So, but I'm a mess and I lose everything. Why is the powder in my hair? Okay, so I have my NYX contour palette. I don't know where the lid is. I think I need a lid because it's not gonna dry out. But... So I'm gonna contour real fast. We always contour on this channel. Contouring is magic, we already know. And we're going to blend this in. I'm gonna take reddish brown color and use that to bronze actually. So a little bit on the apples of the cheeks. Blend it in with the contour below, defining the cheekbone, but a little bit on my nose and just a little bit on my forehead, but not to go overboard because we don't want it to be like too much. It works kind of as a sort of blush actually, but I'll add a little bit of blush anyways. Because it's Gemini season and we're going to be extra. No, it's not that extra actually, it's okay. I have my Tarte Blush in Sensual, which I feel like I've used like three times on this channel, but it's just really nice, like neutral color. A little bit on the forehead and the nose. 
And I'm gonna go back to this palette and use this shimmery color and fill up my cheekbones. I know this is supposed to be like a natural day look, which it is, but it's gonna be a little extra. <laughs> Anyways, how's your guys' summer going? Please let me know. I have my Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. Put that on the lids. Blend that in. We do have to leave that on for a minute because otherwise it won't work. <laughs> and we're going to curl the lashes. We're gonna do this Huda Beauty Nude Palette just because it's what I had right here. So it's what we're gonna use. Look at this. And we're gonna do the shade Nude right here. No, it's bare, not nude. Okay. I'm gonna use the shade Teddy right here. Do that in the crease and blend here and like back and forth motions like this. Just like get the eye socket. Have you guys tried this palette? Let me know. Do you guys like Huda Beauty products? Let me know. So we're just gonna take Secret, I guess, and then I guess just like put a little bit on the lid. Oh, it's like a lighter brown color. That works. And just further the crease. The shadow is nice. I like the pigmentation. It blends okay. Like I've seen better, but also it blends decent. Also, this palette's kind of old, so I don't know if that affects it, but just kidding. I'm gonna add a little bit of tickle <laughs> and do it just in the outer corner. Yeah, I know. Gemini's can never make up our minds, can we? But I do want to make this like fun, like a fun day look. I'm gonna blend this out. So to finish this off, I have my Tarte Double Take Liner. I'm gonna take the liquid side, 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 can't talk, and do like a really thin line, just close to the lash line to define the eyes, but we're not gonna make it heavy at all because we already put shadow on, so we're not trying to like pile it on. Now I have my Revlon Vinyl Eyeliner in color is this mocha mighty milk so this is like a, a dark brown so it's going to soften the look so we're going to use this on the lower lid only lower lashes i'm going to take this sephora concealer this acne treatment concealer it supposedly has acne treatment in it in the shade three shell i'm using this right now because i'm so broken out right here and here and i can't take it anymore so let's see if this helps <laughs> so this is a little bit out of order but that's okay Actually, okay, I'm not mad at this. So do you guys have any tips and tricks for covering up acne or dealing with pimples? Please let me know because it's a problem. <laughs> so I'm gonna set it with some powder and then we're gonna go to mascara, I think. So I'm just gonna use my, what am I gonna use? Lash Princess, I guess. Um, Essence Lash Princess, the pink one. Best cheap mascaras on the market. Seriously, like the best ones I've seen. And we'll just do a little bit on the lower lashes. I like to use a waterproof mascara on the lower lashes. I don't know where mine is, or mine is all like dried up. I need to get more. Take some lip balm. And I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, Pillow Talk in two medium. And I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna kind of like put a little bit in my lip here. I know I have this weird thing on my lip. I don't know why I have that. <laughs> and then like this, so I have a really like neutral pop of color with nothing crazy. Actually, that doesn't look bad. It's harder to see on camera, but it looks cute in person. Okay, so this is a finished daytime like neutral look, so pulled together. So please let me know what you think of this look, and then we're gonna dress it up and make it nighttime. So now we're gonna make it a nighttime look. So we're gonna start with eyes. So like we come home. Usually the makeup's all kind of messed up, but let's pretend it just lasted perfectly like it always does. Not okay. <laughs> um, in which case, what I would do is just like take some shape tape concealer and try to fix my skin and start from there. Anyways, so we're gonna start with this new palette. What are we gonna do? We're gonna make it like crazy because it's Gemini season. Um, I'm gonna take the shade Tease, I guess, this darker shade, and start by putting a little on the outer corner to kind of smoke it out to see how I feel about this. So kind of putting it like the outer third of the eye, but not all the way out here, just kind of in here, like not the center, but just a little bit to the right here and blending it like that. And you can just like put it into the crease a little bit too, just to make it blend in with everything better. That's looking good so far. So I'm gonna take this shade Love Bite and I think I'm going to put it all over the lid, but not put it on the eyeliner that's already there. I mean, I guess you can, cause it's pretty dark, but we're just gonna try to avoid that. 
and then blend it into the crease as well. So I love this, but I need a little bit of like darkness to make it. So I have the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I didn't even finish that sentence. I'm aware of that. Put it in my outer corner just to smoke it a little bit. So it isn't so like monochromatic because it kind of is even though they're all like different shades. So then just go back and forth blending like this. I'm gonna take my one size eye popper and we're gonna put it just in the inner corners. I would, thought I was going to do like a glitter shadow look today, but I decided not to. We're just gonna do this instead. We're gonna move it a little bit into the lower lash line like that. So that way we can have like glitter and matte at the same time. Why choose? It's Gemini season. We want it all at once. So it shows more, you can move it like a little bit up like this too. And then blend it. This looks cool, but my eyes look really close together right now. So I'm gonna go and take this lash line shade again and put it in the outer corners of my lower lids only just so my eyes look a little further apart. And it also defines the eye better. I don't really love using shadow as liner, just using shadow as liner, but I don't mind doing it over liner that's already there. So it really helps to define the eye in a soft way. Plus we make this look more dramatic for nighttime anyways. So I have these Ardell Baby Wispies. These are really cheap and really natural looking, super natural looking, even more natural looking than the Demi Wispies. And we're going to use this today with my Kiss Lash Strip Adhesive. So I'm gonna pop these off off camera and be right back, guys. So next I have my Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Unattached. And also normally we would reapply the lip liner, but we don't have to because we just put it on. <laughs> yeah, this kind of goes with kind of like the dark berry tones of the eyes and the bright, what is it, coral-ish of the lips doesn't really match, but it goes. I didn't touch up the face makeup, so it's not too excessive. Um, if you wanna to touch up your face makeup and add more contour and stuff like that, then I would go lighter on the lip. But this is the finished going out look, night look. Please let me know what you think of this look. Please let me know what you guys do when you go from day to night and how you like to do that. Please let me know how you're enjoying your Gemini season. And let me know what video you'd like to see next. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye, Jitterbugs. Thank you.